and welcome to the Prince George's African American Museum and Cultural Center. Thank you so much for coming to our virtual Pride of Place Parlor, where we are taking the time to reflect and celebrate the positive experiences that we have had in our beloved Prince George's County. Indeed, indeed. And we will hear today from Laurel City Council member Keith Sidnor, an honored resident who we respect and revere for his stellar contributions to our county. Let me go ahead and share some information that will really enliven what you're hearing today. Uh, council member Keith Sidnor is Laurel City Council member. He was first elected in November of, uh, uh, 2017. He's a dynamic and motivating leader who is dedicated to the progress of people, his county, his country, and his community. Born and raised in Petersburg, Virginia, Keith has been a resident of Laurel, Maryland since 2003. He also worked in law enforcement for more than 23 years. And in early 2019, he retired as pretrial, um, pretrial services officer for the Pretrial Services Agency for the District of Columbia. He has served as a correctional officer for the Federal Bureau of Prisons, a correctional officer for the Virginia Department of Corrections, a deputy sheriff for Petersburg, Virginia, serve, uh, sheriff's office, and he served 24 years. After having served 24 years, he is a retired chief petty officer from the United States Navy. His illustrious right. career includes two deployments to the Persian Gulf, 2001 deployment to Kuwait for uh, Operation Enduring Freedom and Operation Iraq Freedom. He has visited six continents with patience and resolve and has demonstrated a willingness to learn about and understand other cultures. I love it. So he's a culture king <laughs> and world travel. So we're going to get uh, right into these questions. So uh, like Gabriel was sharing with you, this is a love letter to Prince George's County. You know, we want to celebrate, uh, even though we have to stay at home right now, that, that doesn't take away the fact that Prince George's County is a beautiful place um, that has powerful people, gorgeous places, and, and a beautiful story. And so today we want to hear your story your, your um, positive memories, positive memories and reflections. And we'll start with the first question. Um, share with us about how you came to Prince George's County and then also uh, to our museum if you'd like to. Oh, sure, thank you. First of all, thank you guys for having me. I'm looking honored to talk to you guys in the future and here on. I came to Prince George County in 2003, like Gabriel said in my intro. I got a job in Washington, D.C. as a pretrial service officer. And I said, where am I going to live? I'm going to live in Washington, D.C. I'm going to live in Prince George County. I hear so much about Prince George County being a very progressive county for African American. So I decided to move to Prince George County. And I chose Laura because I had some relatives that lived here in Laura. So, and in 2006, I bought my first home. I like Laura so much. And to totally be honest with you, I'll hear about your museum through the invitation that you guys invited me here for. So I did some research on the museum. I saw you guys doing a virtual tour. I only saw one um, one exhibit though, but I said, you know, I want to be a little prepared. And but that's how you about the museum. I'm looking forward to coming there in person to North Brentwood to see the museum and actually taking some of my seniors because I do a lot of work with my seniors in my district and you could, I could take them out and do things with them. And that'd be an awesome tour for them during the day. So looking forward that to that. That would be awesome. And I'm so happy to know that um, I think it's great that you're, you're new to our museum. That means we've made a new friend and you're welcome. This is your museum, just like it's, it's the, it belongs to our county and to all of our people. So Gabriel's got, gonna turn it over to Gabriel for the next question. Sure. What is your favorite place in Prince George's County? Hey, I'm gonna be biased. Um, Laura, because oh, like I, said, <laughs> I moved here in 2003 <laughs> and I bought my first home that I'm living in now in 2006. And the reason, I, Everything's so convenient. You know, I'm a convenient person. You know, we have a beautiful Prince George Public Library. It was built a couple of years ago. I like going there. We have the gym is so close to my house. We got various restaurants in the city. Um, we have a movie theater. So yeah, I'm gonna be very biased. Laura, it's my favorite place, Prince George County. Plus, I'm 30 miles from DC, 30 miles from Baltimore. If I want to like go to DC or go to Baltimore, we're right in the middle now. And our community is very diverse. Everything. So, so I'm sorry, Laura. Love rest of Prince George County too, though, but. Laurel's my favorite place. So you, so you are down for lovely Laurel. Okay, hey, all right, Laurel lovely life. and lively Laurel. <laughs> okay, okay, we got a lovely Laurel person in the house. Okay, um, the next question that we have is, what is one thing that you wish that people knew more about Prince George's County? It can be people who live outside the county or even inside the county. Things that you wish that they knew that they don't know. And um, my second part of that question, 
you can tell me more about maybe is there something with Prince George's County history that you feel like that they should know? Yeah, very good question. And I, and I, I learned about this question when you did the research because uh, North Brentwood, North Brentwood was the first African-American municipality in Prince George County. And um, a soldier, a captain from the Civil War moved in this area and he started selling partial their land to some of his former soldiers and, um, and former slaves. So North Brentwood is, I think, people from Prince George County to know that history about North Brentwood when it, because we're a majority of African American County, but we need to know the first African American County was North Brentwood because before the 70s, I think most of the Black folks started moving to Prince George County around the 1970s when they started uh, getting a good government jobs in Washington, D.C. And I think it was an exodus from Prince George County of uh, white brothers and sisters because I don't know why, but you know, that's how the county became majority Black. And But North Brentwood being that little small town, was one of the first incorporated municipalities in the, in the county of Prince George. So I think folks should know that. You're right. You're getting your A plus in Prince George's County, African American. <laughs> A stellar. So next question for you. Envision the future of Prince George's County 20 years from now. Describe what that looks like to you. Another excellent question. Um, I'm all about, you know, like I said, being a public servant, we want to give back to our community. And the first thing we want to do is prevention programs. And I think the most important thing is education. We want to see a better school system, focus on pre-K, because we, we, we're aware that when we invest in our children early through pre-kindergarten, and that can help be better off students overall. I want to see more funding going to our health and human services. We know about uh, health and human services, that we need social yes. programs, we need health programs, you need know, all those type of things. I think we invest in that. Our county is already beautiful, though. But when we start investing in the people at an early age and the services they need, their health, um, prevention programs, I like to see that. Also, uh, like I like going to Washington, D.C. I like going to Baltimore, too. But I wish we had more amenities here in Prince George County in our areas that we can have, a, like, a entertainment center. Like, we got something like in... Montgomery County to have in us, um, like the, the Fillmore oh, Center. No. I would like to have something like that in our county that we can go to the concerts and things of that nature. I'd like to more amenities, um, more restaurants, and more shopping retail. So we, I, I love to see that in our county for the next 20 years. So soon, you know, hopefully we get that, some of those things in the next uh, four or five years. I think we have a great uh, county executive and a great uh, county council and a, and a great uh, municipality here for the um, 20 municipalities that we have. And we're willing to work with each other to make our county better. So I think we keep that spirit and we'll be great. Okay. Um, if you could summarize Prince George's County into three words, you only get three. Okay. So choose wisely. All right. What okay. words would you choose? Right. I want to okay. get that love. Well, what's your I'm love gonna, for I'm, I'm for Prince George's County, you know, it's going to be the same question, the same things I say for Laura. Uh, we okay. are resilient, reliable residents. Woo! I like that. <laughs> RLR, RLR. So wait, wait, wait. So we are resilient. Right. Reliable. Reliable. Residents. Residents. Wow. Yep. Or you can say citizens. <laughs> yeah, that's Prince George. That's us. That's us. That's what's yeah. up. Yep. <laughs> Thank um, you again. Wow. Man. Um, I, I think that's that's powerful. You know, that sounds like the next new slogan um, okay. and mission <laughs> statement for, okay. you know, back in the day, they used to say gorgeous Prince George's. And now we're saying, you know, uh, we're Prince George's proud and we are yeah. Prince George's proud of you. And we are proud. Prince George is proud of, of everyone who is, is watching this um, episode today, yes. this interview. We want you to know that you know, having pride of place is so yes. important because, you know, if you're not proud about where you come from, yes. then, you know, it's, it, it does something to you when you are proud of, of where you come from. You can yes. always change your environment, change your, change your life, but Prince George's County gives us a lot to be proud of. Yes. And so today I want you to think about what's something around this county that you're proud to be connected to. What about mm -hmm. you, Gabriel? What do you want the people to know? I think it's really critical for people to know that as much history as we have here in Prince George's County um, that, is, that needs to be understood by people on the outside, outside the county, it makes a difference for us to share that with one another because we all have roots that need to be valued and understood. I may have a tree that's transplanted from another area, but that tree has roots from that area. When I transplant it, 
it's good for me to see that that tree is going to grow up into something beautiful once I know where it comes from. So when I hear about Prince George's County residents and the histories they have, it's a beautiful thing for me to see others outside of it be enriched by those stories. One thing that um, you're from Petersburg, Virginia, so, you know, you're not a native yeah. um, of Prince George's County and Gabriel, you know, you're from Georgia. And yeah. so you, what is always interesting to see how people come to Prince George's County, because we have a lot of people who come, um, you know, for different reasons, whether it be, right. you know, professional or family or whatever. But once you get here, yeah. you become part of the family. You know, yeah. I, I grew up here all my life and I didn't, and I love being from Prince George's County, but I didn't really have an appreciation for yeah. it until I went after um, I went to school in Virginia at Virginia Commonwealth University. And when I got my first job as a high school teacher, I was living in Yorktown, Virginia. And during election time, I noticed that there were no black people or there would be like one black person running for office. Yeah. And I remember saying, that's so odd because when I would be back home, you know, the, the sidewalks would be chock full of signs of different yeah. black people running for office. Yeah. And that's when I realized Prince George's County is different. We have black yeah. leadership. You are, you, it's yeah. so much black leadership that, yeah. um, that I said, oh, I need to go back to that. I need to yeah. go back to that and, and I'm back. Yeah. So um, what about you? What's has it been like? Um, coming from Petersburg and then coming to Prince George's County? What's the difference? Yeah, um, definitely. I like that question because um, I'm familiar with exactly what you're saying. Like you said, you, you went to BCU, home of the Rams. Um, mm -hmm. We are, uh, Virginia is like a very, uh, a very conservative state. You know, um, when I went to, especially in Petersburg, every elementary school in my um, city was named after Confederate generals. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, like I say, we, we didn't see a lot of uh, black progressive people. And that's, like I say, one of the reasons why I moved to Prince George County because of the progressive black people. I mean, if you go anywhere else, you see us everywhere. I mean, even when I go home to visit sometimes, I go into a store and I might be like, might see four or five black people inside the store, uh, like a Wawa or something. But mm -hmm. here, you know, when no matter where you go, Greenbelt, uh, Hyattsville, North Brentwood, or you see black people all over the place. And I think that's, that's good. That's a lot of, uh, make you feel real proud that you know be yeah. black because you see a lot of progressive black people like say working in the, in the area here in washington dc and you know you commute back and forth you see a lot of black professional people you know that's why young people to think that uh black people only sports athletes entertainers you can see black judges black lawyers black bankers black nurses black doctors so it's a very a very diverse uh a group of professional people um and this can make you real proud like i said i like the slogan prince George proud because we are have a rich history a professional black people working hard together and want to make better for our state. So, um, and it's such that you go anywhere else, she doesn't see a congregation of that many black people, like, you know, in charge of the county or in charge of a, a city, right. you know? So uh, um, that's what I see the difference. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. What about you, Gabriel? Um, similar, uh, my, my uh, stepfather actually grew up in uh, Carolina, North Carolina in particular. But in his college years, he went to University of Maryland. And mm -hmm. him, Prince George's County has a very special uh, place in his heart because he used to live not that far uh, from where the- Yeah, in College Park, right. Right. And it was interesting when he and I talked because um, growing up, we were very, very proud of our roots. My parents were both educators. Uh, I went to black private schools where mm -hmm. it was normal to see people like us in the history books. So when I moved to Georgia, <laughs> and saw in predominantly white spaces, um, when I saw that there was a perplexion on people's faces, if I said, yeah, there are plenty of counties where black people were the main ones leading, they were shocked. And then when I came here to Prince George's County and saw how normal it was, it was a sense of refreshment. Mm, mm. Uh, and this is the best way I could say, it was, a, it was refreshing to feel like I could say to myself, I don't have to prove that my roots have greatness in them. I can mm. sit with people that say, well, of course, Black people made towns from scratch and end up becoming immensely wealthy. Of course, African Americans owned entire areas before they had to deal with people trying to push them out of the very right. areas they developed. Um, like I said earlier, with you know transplanting trees and transplanting transplanting plants. Um, my I, I was though I was raised in Georgia. I wasn't born there, of course. Um, but coming here has been a refreshing thing for me. I've actually found out that I most likely have ancestors from this side, on my dad's side, as well as the Virginia side. Um, history of people like the contraband, uh, mm -hmm. enslaved resistance fighters. 
mm -hmm. this year in Prince George's County. It's been interesting to realize that the history is so rich here and in many spaces outside of it, there are people who just don't know. They and just, I, they just don't know. And it's like, you know, we're not in an age, you know, we have internet, we have yeah. all that stuff. And that's one of the reasons um, why we created this proud of place parlor, because yes. it's like, look guys, we look, we need you to understand this because it's going to make you walk taller. It's going to make right. you put your head up. It's going to yeah. give you that air of confidence that yeah. I wouldn't say arrogance, but if that's what you need, confidence to understand confidence. that you yes. come from a powerful place. So we're talking about today what makes Laurel the most lovely place in Prince George's County. And um, we've got some history that is really relevant right now. You know, all of the counties that uh, the municipalities that we have in the cities and the town in Prince George's County, each one is special and they have their own unique history um, yes. in itself. What's, what's happening with Laurel? What makes Laurel so special? Once again, excellent question again. Laurel is actually celebrating this year, 150 years of being um, incorporated. On April mm -hmm. the 1st, in 1870, Laurel was incorporated. And, um, and so Laurel had the first high school in Prince George County, Laurel High School. And also, there's wow. a section of Laurel that African Americans was congregated at called the Grove section. There's a church there. There's been, a, I forget the year that was incorporated, that was built, but you know, every, every summer around September, called the Emancipation Day at Laurel, that we have a parade and we go right through the city. The African Americans get that. that and they celebrate and uh, we, you know the whole city come out it's very diverse and they celebrate that that part of law for the when the African Americans settle there uh, around 8th and 7th Street in law called the Grove area so okay that's a nice area all right uh, well we're coming to the next celebration yes. yeah, 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 <laughs> even if it's gonna be I look forward to bring heavy idea yeah we're, yeah, okay. we're barbecue and everything <laughs> yeah, I love the way you described it one. yeah it's true and, and the way you described it with the virtual dynamic that we're focusing on it reminds me of having a large family reunion where no matter what part of life you're in, no matter how long you've been away from different people, you're all coming from different camps, different tribes to come back as a family and say, so let's see one another again. Where you been? What's going on on your side of the street? Because we all started at a common space and this history, it just adds on to the dimension of beauty for Prince George's County, that there's even more things to be proud about that people right. know about in many places and they are going to know more specifically. Yep. If we have something to do with it, right, Gabriel? Right, exactly. Right. You don't know now, you know. So, I hear that. Thank you again for that. That's awesome. Okay. So right, our roots uh, are strong here. Yeah. yeah, roots are strong. No matter how you got here, like you said, whether you were transplanted here yeah. or you were born and raised here, the roots are strong. So, yeah. um, very, we very thank cool. you so much for being part um, of our pride of place parlor today. Is there anything that you want to, you know, say to your constituents, to the people of Prince George's County and beyond, yes. some final yes. words about um, having pride of place? Uh, well, once again, thank you all for having me. I really enjoyed this interview and I'm looking forward to coming down to the museum. And like I said before, with the seniors and other young people as well, to explore the museum in Prince George's County. Just, uh, we live in a difficult time right now. So I just want everybody, regardless if you're still in the world or you live throughout the, throughout the world, well, just please be safe. You know, um, think about your health, think about your safety. Um, just follow yes. the guidelines of your local leaders and, and please get out and vote in November. That's my right on. message. Yes. <laughs> we, we were talking about that earlier, um, and I'm so glad you mentioned that regarding the work you do with letting people know you have power in your local community. You have power in your local um, places of political power, from the libraries to the town halls. And I thank you. We thank you for the work that you do representing, because it's not easy work. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for spending time with us today. Would you like to share your story of how much you love Prince George's County? Do you want to share your pride of place in Prince George's County? Please reach out to us at programs at pgaamcc.org and we'll connect with you so that you can share your story. Yes. Thank you. For taking pride in Prince George's, in Prince George's County. All right.